Hello and welcome. Yeah, okay. Hello and welcome everyone to this Warcraft replay. Uh, this is going to be the first, uh, not first. This is going to be the fourth of the best of five series. Um, this could potentially be the last game if the, I guess, the purple team wins this one. It's going to be weird because uh, the other team was purple the past three games. Um, the map is on Centaur Grove, so it's the first time I've casted a map. I game on this map, I think. So I'm going to show you around. This is going to take a, l a while because this map is rather big. So green creep camps, just the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Over here, uh, two, ma two range, one melee. We have troll camp over here as well as over here and here. Just This one's at least mirrored, so thank god for that. Um, inward gold mine over here guarded by a bunch of centaurs. So expect to see centaurs because it is basically named after them anyway. So. Yep, Goblin Merchants, guarded by Center on Trolls. Yeah, over here. Waygates are also on this map, which is actually surprising, so I think these two are linked together. I'm not sure if there are any other Waygates. The Boratory ca uh, Camp, guarded by more Trolls and more Centaurs. Um, so yeah, Mercenary Camp on the other side, which is guarded by a Rock Golem with Centaurs, so yeah. And on the corners we have an Ogolord camp over here guarding this gold mine and guarding this gold mine. On the other corners we have just an orange creep camp which centaurs, gnolls and ogres and all that bad stuff. Uh, more centaurs and more centaurs. That's pretty much going to be the map actually. So yeah, um, expect a lot of creeping hopefully early on. But we might even have a quick game. I wouldn't hold my breath. This looks like a rather large map. So anyway, on the purple team we have... Oh, this is not... Oh, okay. Um, never mind. I thought this was WFZ. Um, apparently this is not. It is Tho. So, yeah, actually I'm not going to be confused. Uh, Tho has been on the purple team so far in all four games, so I'm not going to get that confused. Tho spawning in as the purple undead player. Um, pretty much hitting all the races, all the unique races at least, he's played Human, he's played Night Elf, and he's played Orc. Now he's played Undead, so so far he's played all four races in this series, which is rather surprising because random does not seem to be that random. But Tho is just showing that anyway. His ally is going to be Enfi, spawning as the uh, purple human player on the top side of the map. And yeah, that's going to be them. They unfortunately are down 1-2. Um, Their opponents are going to be WFZ who has looked very strong in the previous game is going to be spawning in as the blue undead player. 120 although did also win the previous game he did take a big hit like always um, from the enemy pl enemy team so yeah hopefully he can be more impactful. I think his blade master and shadow hunter actually did make quite an effect in that previous game, so just pointing that out over there. Um, orc Undead versus Undead Human. Uh, I can't really bother just thinking of the synergies between those two races, which one is the better combination. Blademaster first for 120 and DK first for WFZ. Meanwhile, it looks like we have a Mountain King first? No, we will have an Archmage first for Infi and a DK first, I would imagine, for Tho. So yeah, Blade Master moving on. He did sell his TP scroll, and gonna um, get himself that healing salve, double healing salve, and scroll speed, scroll of speed. And the Shadow Priest is gonna be immediately focused down by the Blade Master. Easy kill right there, but he is not done. He's going after Troll Berserker as well. Just yeah. So, early crit fiend for WFZ, I actually didn't see the build order over here, but it looks like it was a graveyard before Tomb of Relics. Might be the same thing going on for Tho as well, as we already have a crit fiend out for him as well. It looks like just solid creeping from both players, but except for Envy, he is actually going to go um, early aggression. Pick off a skeleton, maybe get another one. And yeah, what's interesting that he, what's interesting is that he decided to go aggressive, 
before level 2, so he's not going to pump out that many water elementals frequently, but, well, he was able to pick off a couple of skeletons. Anyway, Holds with Dead is on its way for WFZ, Stronghold on its way for 120. Meanwhile, on the purple side, we have uh, tier 2 for both players as well. So Enfi, uh, just I guess just pulling off a couple of acolytes from that gold mine, not really making much happen. We are going to have long distance militia creep, and we'll be able to give level two to the archmage. DK, on the other hand, despite uh, not really going for aggression, is only at level one. So yeah, I guess it's that blade master's fault, really. Um, being really annoying to Tho right now, but of course Tho is Tho, he knows how to deal with this um, obviously showing by running away. But he will get help from his ally, so Envy. He does have dust, so he can at least spot the Blade Master once he gets out. Taking a little pot shots against that grunt, and we have the footman out finally being attacked by the Blade Master. No dust appearance just yet from the Archmage. He does have boots, but the Blade Master is fast on his own alongside with that Windwalk as well. Alright, we have a set of dust given to the Death Knight as well. There we go. Able to pick up the item as well as the kill, but the the Trapper kill has been given to the Blade Master, giving him simultaneously level 2 as well. Um, it looks like WFZ once again playing rather strong. Gonna go for very close to level 3 on his DK. He does have a replenishment potion, and he's pretty much just leaving 120 to do the harassment himself. Um, I guess that's what to be expected if you're a or an orc player. But the Blade Master is a very low on health. Alright, so this gold mine has been cleared out by WFZ. Who knows what would happen if either player goes for an expand, but interestingly enough, Enfi is going to pick himself a Fire Lord. No, um, no signs of Ivory Towers anywhere, so um, this might not... I don't know, this is not... I, this is definitely not going to be early tower aggression from either player, but we shall see how this will turn out. Lava spawns and water elementals will be summoned by both the Archmage and the uh, Fire Lord, and let's see how this will turn out. Lava Spawn is going to be instantly focused down by those Crypt Fiends, um, however the Elemental is not, because the Elemental is not that much of a potent threat. Um, either way, Crypt Fiend is going to be taken out for Tho, Death Coil was used offensively instead of being used as a healing uh, mechanism, and the Fire Lord is going to be the main target for the blue team. This is rather um, expected because the Fire Lord is, of course, a very squishy target. Um, WF said, showing him, uh, showing Tho why he mains undead, I guess, um, is going to take out majority of those Crypt Fiends, and it looks like WF said is going to secure himself that WF said, or that Crypt Fiend number advantage. Oh, even able to take even able to take down a skeleton as well. Neither player is going to go for a waygate cheese anytime soon. The Death Knight is halfway to level 4, meanwhile Thos is halfway to level 3. So obviously that early creeping did um, amount to something, although he's able to unable to pick off any more. Laboratory camp going to be taken out. Um, by 122nd hero, which is going to be the Shadow Hunter, is actually going to take a lot of damage as well. Um, Frenzy Berserker, Sorcerer able to cast Bloodlust and just amplify his allies' units, but of course will be taken out eventually. Black Citadel on its way for WFZ. Is Tho going to go for that, though? Um, <clears throat> we do see WFZ going for a Lich second, as well as Tho going for a Lich second, so one could say that Tho's just focusing on those Crypt Fiend counts instead of worrying about Destroyers possibly later on. So yeah, anyway, Fire Lord is now out 
uh, with the support of the Arcane Sanctum units. Of course, Fire Lord was out before, but I'm just saying that he is now supported by Spellcasters. Let's see how this will turn out. Lava Spawn has been taken out, but it was trying to just take down, take, the, uh, take down the statue. Will not be able to happen. One Crypt Fiend will be taken out with the combined cooperation of the purple team. Oh, but the Blade Master um, needs to be careful, try not to get taken out. Ivory Towers will be placed down for the Fire Lord, so as expected, we are going to see some tower players coming in. So this is going to be rather interesting. Voodoo Lounge is going to be the first target for the purple team. Just prevent the consumables from being purchased by um, both WFZ and 120. Let's see how those will turn out. No orc burrows can actually reach um, this area, so he's just going to bring in a couple of peons anyway. Dust of their appearance has been used, and the Blade Master is now um, rather troubled. Deathcore will be able to heal up a Crypt Fiend from low health, and Lava Spawn is not being focused down. Um, let's see how many hits it can go before going for the split. Hopefully the split will happen very, very soon. Um, he is attacking those grunts, not necessarily doing that much damage, but of course is just being a nuisance right now. It's now going to be splitting. We do have um, Death Calls just taking down the Lava Spawn, which is rather humorous, but the Lava Spawns have finally been taken out. Um, another set of lava spawns has been spawned as well as the elementals so this is going rather favorably for the purple team we do see the majority of these units uh, actually this is looks oh, this might be looking rather equal but um, we shall only tell from time I guess the Crypfiend numbers could favor WFZ but let's just see how much the units can actually affect this Death Knight has been taken down at level 3 that might be the turning point for the purple team over here um, let's just hope for the best for the purple team, and probably hope for the best for the blue team as well. Either way, um, Fire Lord did get to level 2, so he probably has his second ability. It could be Soul Burn, um, it could not be, I guess, but oh well, let's uh, just see. Obsidian Statue from Tho, not going to be taken out instead. The Blade Master is going to be taken out. You did see a little bit of a fire icon above that Blade Master, so he did indeed have that um, Soul Burn, so... Yep, great nuke, nuking potential for the purple team is available now. And this is not looking good. We do have a hex on those crit fiend, but um, it's not like it's going to really matter right now. More towers being placed down. Lumber mill being placed down as well, curiously enough. Um, maybe an arcane fault would have been necessary, but does not look like it. We have the sustain from both of these obsidian statues anyway, so those looking uh, rather good. Lava spawn not really going to split itself off if it's going to attack those orc burrows, so it should go after the other targets in my opinion. A vital, vital building being taken down the um, the barracks for 120. Coda Beast is out, but I'm imagining that this guy is going to be taken down very very soon there we go able to be taken down rather quickly and big blue um, big blue blob in the map over here going to be attacking Enfi's main base and we do have a destroyer in the air but strangely enough I think the base race is going to favor the purple team even though it's not that strange because the purple team was sieging before anyways but yeah, I really can't see how this would be that beneficial to the blue team. TP scroll actually going to be used, but I would imagine the stronghold being taken down before that. There we go. And Tho is actually going to be TPing back home as well. Rather aggressive TP. Oh, very nice uh, Nova Coil on the Shadow Hunter. We'll be forcing a healing wave. Probably not the best because they only heal himself. But 120 is going to give the GG. He really can't do much coming back to this game. And WFZ is also going to give the GG as well. So the purple team able to tie this series to all. And we're going to go for a full five game series. Either way, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.